Hey, what is up guys and welcome to the vlog. This is a week in my life, which is a little chaotic, but it started out really nice on Sunday morning. I took my mom to a small coffee shop in Phoenix called Moxie Coffee Co. If you live in the Phoenix area, I definitely recommend checking them out. They had lots of cute little pastries, some of which were vegan. Um, we tried the chocolate chip sweet potato muffin, the pistachio orange cake, and also the chocolate croissant, which were all vegan. They had other stuff there, but we just didn't try anything. Are you excited? <laughs> My mom ended up getting an almond milk cappuccino and I got an oat milk chai latte, so we were so excited. Because if you know us, we have kind of an obnoxious sweet tooth. Everything was so super cute. I was like, mom, wait, I gotta take a photo. As you can see, some of the footage is a little blurry. My mom is blind, so <laughs> she did the best she could. Um, but that chai tea latte was a pretty killer. Just such a cute coffee shop. So again, if you're in the area. Uh, for those of you who don't know, me and my mom are from Johannesburg, South Africa. And they just, I think it was a year ago, opened a store in Scottsdale where they sell um, <laughs> South African goodies. Like all the things I grew up with, basically like cookies, crackers, sauces, um, breakfast cereals, uh, teas, all that fun stuff. So we actually stopped by and we actually met the owner for the first time since we've been there the past year. And he's awesome. He makes actually everything himself. Um, so all the stuff that's in the freezer, he takes care of all of that stuff, which is incredible. I don't know where he finds the time and everything is so super good. Ah, the part of the vlog I didn't want to film. <laughs> Excuse my messy closet. I, for those of you who do not know, am relocating out of state to Utah. And I decided what better way to refresh my closet than to get rid of the items that I no longer wear anymore. So I did list a lot of these items on my Depop. Some of them are actually no longer available for sale. So if you are interested in purchasing some of these, I will list my Depop link below. I actually had so much fun editing this part of the video, as you guys can probably tell. Um, it took the longest amount of time, but totally worth it. So I hope you guys can appreciate the aesthetics of this video. If you have questions on any of these items that are still available, you are definitely more than welcome to reach out to me on my Depop. I am pretty active on there as I'm trying to get rid of a lot of these things before I post some more things. So again, if you're interested, just go ahead and take the plunge. Good morning, it is Wednesday. Ooh, fuck, I forgot a mask. Fucking forgot a mask. Long story short, I'm late for the dentist now. I gotta go find a mask. Um, welcome <laughs> to my Wednesday. Um, morning of chaos, apparently. Lots of things happening today. The light is just so bad, but I had to get on here and say that today was the last dentist appointment that I will have in Arizona that I know of for I don't know how long. 
And that's kind of like freaking weird because I've been going to the same dentist for literally like since I was 15 and it's kind of bizarre. So that's why I was like kind of stressed about my dentist appointment today because I was like, this is the last time I'm going to see my dentist. Like the people that know me, like me and my dental hygienist are on a first name basis. He's been taking care of me for so long and it's very bittersweet and I look like shit and I have a job interview today. So, so hopefully that goes well, but I am just so emotional about my dentist. I like hate doctors, but I love my dentist. I've always loved my dentist. My dentist has always done right by me. So you can imagine that I'm just like, like what am I gonna do? What am I going to do? How am I going to live? How am I going to continue forward without, without Steve? How am I going to live without Steve? Uh, change is very scary, but it's good. He gave me a pep talk. That's kind of the relationship we have. <laughs> uh, let's get today over with. Honestly, I need to fix my life because I'm looking really just... Like I woke up and I just got out of bed. So let's fix this. Let's fix this. Hi, um, the packing process is going not so great. It's my last flight to Utah. Oh, this is the weirdest thing of all time. But anyway, um, this vlog is definitely all over the place. So bear with me. I am currently in the process of packing a checked bag, which I never do, to go to Utah. It's, it's officially the last time I will buy a ticket to go out there for pleasure instead of me coming back home. Uh, Utah will soon be home, so. Ooh, it's the weirdest feeling of all time. This is like, it doesn't feel real. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't even know what I've put in here. I've just kind of like shoved shit in here and like I'm truthfully hoping for the best. That's about as uh, much information as I can give you because there's literally nothing in here that is of any kind of importance at current. So I had a 6 a.m. flight out to Salt Lake and literally took a two hour nap, I think. And then my boyfriend took me to Antelope Island to sightsee, which I was really tired that day. So we didn't do any kind of hiking or anything crazy, but we did soak up the scenery. It was also a little too cold, so we didn't want to get out the car that much. So driving around was not bad at all. I did see a bison for the first time in my life. They are huge, by the way. Everything was super pretty. It was super bright though, so it was really hard to get some of the shots because it just, the sun was not cooperative at all, but it was just absolutely gorgeous. I'm not super outdoorsy, but I definitely loved, loved spending time here. It was really, really nice. The next day we woke up super early and went to Salt Lake's Winter Farmer's Market. This is our second time that we've been together, which we fell in love with one of the salsa booths that you will see that we visited again. Um, we love their avocado tomatillo salsa. It's so, so good. They also have a Cashew Dream salsa that is just out of this world, especially because I'm vegan. I love a good cheesy sauce. so. If you want to check them out, I'll link their stuff below. Some really cute booths here. Some that were different than last time. Pretty much overall, it was just so awesome and smelled so good in there. 
I landed up going to one of the produce booths where I bought a ton of greens. I bought like spinach and kale and broccoli. My boyfriend had to get a empanada because he is always hungry. Me showing off my purchase because I was so proud of myself. There's a lot of cool street art in Salt Lake if you've ever visited before. It's actually pretty awesome. We landed up going to Lizzie's Kitchen for lunch. Again, our second time here. They have really, really good food. Their falafel is insane. And they do have vegan options on their menu, so if you're someone who's like me and you're always fighting for a good meal to have with your partner who's not vegan, definitely a good spot to go to. That evening, I basically cooked up all of my veggies. I steamed my kale, mixed in some green peppers, some red onion. I steamed my broccoli. There's some spinach in that salad and there's some pasta in there and some red beets and had some fortified protein because I gotta make sure that I'm eating enough protein every single day. And then the next morning we woke up super early and went to Park City and just kind of walked around and again drove around to enjoy the scenery and everything that was going on up there. There's a great little coffee shop we really like called Hugo's, and they have a killer tea. If anybody's ever interested in taking a trip up to Park City, I would go to the visitor center and check out Hugo's coffee. They're pretty awesome. As I mentioned earlier in the vlog, I am actually relocating to Utah, so kind of getting a good gauge for everything that's going on up here was really important in making my decision to move. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog and it was somewhat interesting or calming um, and you get to take a peek into the journey that is my upcoming move. I would love any recommendations you have for any other video ideas that you'd like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope that it was entertaining and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one guys. Bye.